TNGM The Show presents... Talking Nerdy, March 2024. Uh, Bad Batch, Season 3, which is also the final season. Uh, there's a few more episodes since our last podcast, so I'm going to get a little bit into that. With your hosts, Pablo Gunner, the Ambassador, and our guest, special guest. Oh, Marvin Goof here. Marvin Goof, yes, who did a Dune 2. He did our Dune 2 review, Dune Part 2 review to be more specific. And so we are here to talk nerdy to you. We've been doing this, what, like almost 13 years now? Yeah. Right? Crazy. So we are here to waste our time so you don't have to, right? Like we're going to watch everything good or bad that's nerdy, you know, try to play as many things, do as many things, so you don't waste your time. You can save it for the best of the best, Absolutely, right? Yeah. So that's what we're here to deliver on. Move on to Bad Batch uh, season three. There's been a few more episodes. It's the final season. They they've been intense. It's the final Ooh. season. Some have had had so you know like there's one with um, who's like the assassination chick that was with uh, Fennec Shand. Fennec Shand is in. Mm. A, there's the one of hers episodes, and a, that was really good. Uh, they they've just all been great because they're like. It's the final season. They're, they're, it's, it's, it's all speed, no break. You're driving along, you're driving along, and all of a sudden the kids are yelling from the back seat, I gotta go to the bathroom, Daddy! Not now, damn it! Truck tire! I can't stop! Ah, ah, help! There's a cliff! Ah, and your family's screaming, Oh my God, we're burning alive! No, I can't feel my legs! In comes a meat wagon! Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. And the medic gets out and says, Oh my God! It's gold. I, I cannot recommend this more. I'm going to get a Bad Batch shirt made for us, and I'm going to wear it because I have to review it in some videos. Definitely a must-see for me. Must-stream. I don't even care about having to wait two weeks. And what I love too is that sometimes they'll just throw two episodes at a time that are like a like a perfect one, a part one, part two, and they go, we're not gonna make people wait. Here, okay. have, have two. A piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Nice, you know? good job. On and then the yes. next, and they don't <laughs> make you wait. Then they don't make you wait two weeks for a new episode. They just go, oh, no, nope, next episode's next week. Love it, love it. Okay. So that's that. And that being said, like I said, we talked about some of our merch already of the stuff we're going to be making for you all for next month. I'm sporting our Dragon Ball style shirt, talk nerdy to me, because of course, um, if you've heard Akira Toriyama passed away, which is such an uh, such an icon, such a legend, is of course Dragon Ball, but he also did like Chrono Trigger, and then he did Dragon Quest games. Yes, yeah, so he, he's just like, it's so crazy when people go, all he did was put pen to paper and how much, right, like drawing and writing and how much people did he affect. There is a generation of nerds because there's, nerds used to be basement dwellers, you know, attic dwellers maybe. Now look what they are. They're the gun show, right? Like, yes. the, and, and I'm not even one of the big ones. Like, there's dudes that legitimately look like Broly mm -hmm. because of Dragon Ball Z. There's dudes that look like Goku. Like, there's a generation, and then, like, even like you said, the other stuff, like, that he's done, it's just crazy how he's changed, you know, how, how I, he's changed, obviously, even uh, America, the America's Western civilization, because I know that Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z is massive in South America even, right? Because yep, they indeed. came, they were there before they, they were in, in the States. So, like, they're, they're huge. It's huge everywhere. And it's so crazy, the influence of the guy just made drawings and, and wrote some stuff. And that's it. And it's beautiful, beautiful. Indeed. So, if you want to do it, do it. Be inspired by that. And make, let's create, let's make those stories, right? Absolutely. And inspire awesome. people. To work out, to do more, to grow, to be better. So, yeah. And then I also got uh, my Asul Beetle pants that I designed. I don't even know if I have these in the store, but I just loved the Blue Beetle movie so much. It spoke to me. I know it didn't speak to everybody. It wasn't really necessarily meant to speak to everybody. I mean, hopefully it, it does to us and then to a certain degree, but... I thought it was phenomenal. I think it was one of the best things, if not the best thing, that DC's put out in a long time. 
So, especially if you're not like into superhero stuff, I, I think like you won't notice a lot of the things, I won't say ripped off, but definitely, you know, we're taking notes from like Iron Man and, and I mean, there's so much, right? There's so much now, yeah. but yeah. Uh, what about you guys? Well, I, I mean, that pretty, pretty much sums it up for me. There's a lot of good stuff coming out, you know, so... But you got the out. Halo. I did get the Halo shirt right here, so, you know... And we're going to have to we're gonna have to hook him up with the Star Trek, oh, you know? Oh, yes, absolutely. We'll, we'll get that Star Trek merch yeah. out there. We don't have much now, but like I said, we'll start pumping it out. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Yeah, so for sure. We'll, oh, we'll no, that. they might just all forget about Star Trek, like how everyone conveniently forgot about Michael and Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> that was the dumbest thing oh, I've no. ever seen in my life. <laughs> it, basically, Michael Burnham, the main character, when they go into the future, they're like, okay, well, we're all going to forget about this character. Just all interesting. That was really, <laughs> like, literally what they said. It was bad. Oh, man. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. I love uh, I, I love the main chick, though. Oh, my gosh. She was also... Wasn't she also in Walking Dead? Maybe. Yeah, she Maybe. was in Walking Dead. Um, but, I mean, I, I love the first season. I absolutely love the first season of Star Trek uh, Discovery. So, and I know there's other stuff that's been really good I've heard of Star Trek that's that's out there. Well, what's, what's the other one that they have besides Discovery? Uh, I know uh, there's Picard, obviously, which I've yes. heard both good and bad uh, things. But Beyond mostly has been good. pretty Brave solid. Beyond, yes. Beyond Brave is New the other world one. is out there, but Brave New Worlds is out there somewhere, too. I think, uh, I think no, yeah. Not um, beyond um, Stranger Worlds. Stranger Worlds. That's yeah, the one that's I've one. heard a lot of good things about. That one's been kind of good. Even that's Lower Decks. That's basically uh, happens before uh, Kirk takes over the Enterprise. And so it's... Uh, Focused on Pike's uh, turn as captain. Okay, sweet. So, and then you're rocking the uh, talk nerdy to me Star Wars shirt. Yes, and and this is like our so this is like our first one of our first shirts, right? Like our stuff's gotten way better. Like we've added like light swords. Are we? You know, <laughs> beam swords. Beam swords. You know, <laughs> but yeah, like there's some legit stuff. Like we have like. You know, the double one, the, 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 the white ones. Like, we have so many different designs that Slay J designed that are just phenomenal. And I, and I feel like I need to get those ones because they're so great. Yes. But, yeah, there's there's so much stuff. So And what's great, too, is so every month we donate 5% of our profit to charity. So help us help them by buying our merch. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for March, it's uh, Center for Reproductive Rights. Um, last month it was Noble. I forget. I know that for April we're going to do Autism Speaks. Mm -hmm. So I've done my research. That's what we're going to cover. That's going to be charity that we're going to be donating to. So please help us so that we can give, get, help them out, right? We want to, we want to make a positive influence on our society, on our world, Absolutely, you know? Absolutely, yes. And that being said, I want to give shout outs because the, the people that have po uh, positively helped us as well. Of course, at the top of that list, and always at the top of that list, we have to give out a shout out to our best bud, Atticus, who just continues to grow and get better and do more interesting things on his YouTube channel mm -hmm. as a YouTuber in Vietnam, as a teacher in Vietnam, and just showing us, you know, slice of life, you know, anything, any really anything goes. Like, I mean, now he's covering, he's he did, he's done a deep dive of, of Dune. On his, so he he has nerdy stuff too. Like, we've inspired him to to do some nerdy stuff on his channel. So definitely check him out. He's one of the greatest. Uh, we have Burn Kenshin, the, the superpower list. Check them out on Facebook and definitely on X. We also added uh, there's Gone Gold Podcast, Po Boy Pod, Billy D's, G Mart Eight, Pesky Gremlins. They retweet us a lot, so they're awesome. Cinematic Anarchy, Filmmaker Pod, uh, M K Jekyll and Hyde. They're uh, they're across the board. They do uh, on uh, online web comics and stuff. Nice. And and I just yeah. love I just love the message that they send. Like they're everything that they say is so inspirational. Mm. So definitely check them out. The Film Rage guys, those guys, they they review every single movie, good or bad, kind of like us. Mm -hmm. They waste their time. 
so you don't have to. It's, and some stuff is surprising. You'll be surprised. Like some stuff you're like, oh, I thought that was going to be garbage. They give just enough to where it doesn't feel like completely spoiled, but they'll spoil if they're like, we're going to spoil so that you don't waste your time because you shouldn't. Like we have to spoil it so that you, you know, do that. So they're great. Web Imagine Service, they do music and promote music. Amerame Media, they, they're similar to us, but they're different. Uh, and Riot TV, they do uh, streaming stuff, which is hilarious. Uh, Zarin67. And then newly added is G Nuts of Horror. So if you're into horror, definitely check them out because they do reviews for stuff for them. So that's where you're going to do your get your horror stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, share us. You know, with your friends, your family, your dogs, you know, your pets, whatever. Let's talk. Let's keep talking about this stuff. You yeah, know, get, is... get, uh, yes. Yeah, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers. We're more than halfway there so that we can cover more stuff for you. And, and like I said, like us on, on Facebook and, and help us out. You know, we really appreciate it. We love it. Thank you for getting, uh, where we, where you've gotten us to now on, on, on everything. We're, we're, we're on everything. We're on X. We're on the threads. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube, of course. So talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth. Stay nerdy.